Kylo Lux or Luxury and Style are attainable. Welcome back to my personal style series where we are finding our personal style one video at a time. So today we're talking about trends. Um, I'm gonna give you my, I think I have five, top five trends for 2023. And these are trends that I think are great if you're working on your personal style. These are like easy to incorporate into almost any style aesthetic. Before we hop into my five trends, I wanna quickly just go over what a trend is and kind of my philosophy around incorporating trends and making sure that I'm adding the right trends into my closet. Cause I think this again will be helpful and that's the whole point of the series. So a fashion trend implies a specific style or expression distributed over a population at a given period and location. A fashion trend defines the particular fashion design that is popular at a particular time. With that being said, the way I think about trends is that when something is trendy or becomes a trend, it's just making it more accessible to you. It's all about understanding what makes sense for our closet, what we naturally gravitate towards. Now you just have more accessibility to it, right? If you always loved denim maxi skirts um, for the last, I don't know, 10 years, you probably haven't been able to buy them very often, right? So you probably have your favorite one or two in your closet that you've had for a really long time. Now that they're trending, they're accessible in almost every store um, in so many different varieties. So now you just have a lot of options to choose from for something that was already innately you. That's how I look at trends. I've always loved uh, kind of oversized clothing, uh, big boxy blazers, oversized pants. It's always been my vibe. So like when cargo pants started trending, that's something that's naturally me. Now I just have lots of options, right? I have so many colors to choose from, styles, variations, fabrications. So I can kind of stock up so that when it's out of trend, right, I'll have lots of things in my closet that I already love um, that I probably won't be able to find again. So first up is the sheer transparent trend. This has been kind of growing as a trend the last few seasons. I never really mentioned it because I felt like it was really hard to wear and not super universal. However, I feel like this season and going into like spring, summer, I'm seeing more variations that aren't as exposed. So I feel like, again, this is a good one that can work across the board for almost every kind of style aesthetic. So, so many options. You can obviously, I feel like the most obvious one is kind of like the lingerie style where it feels a little more sexy, a little more exposed. Um, but then you can also do something where like there's like a dress overlay um, or something that feels a little more minimal and, and kind of more of that like 90s aesthetic. I feel like that is also an interesting way to do this. Brands that are kind of leading the way are Prada and Miu Miu and different ends of the spectrum, more of like a playful, girly, almost schoolgirl kind of way. And then Prada does it in more of a minimalist, sophisticated, uh, understated kind of way. Um, so a few examples I wanted to show again, because this can go from one end of the spectrum to the other. Um, depending on the color, you can do sheer. And if it's like, you know, a sheer dress and then you have like a silk underpiece, Having it in black, that makes it feel a little more grunge. It could go a little more goth. It could definitely go a little more of a, a sexy vibe. And then you could do something where it's like florals, but it's sheer or, you know, pastels and it's sheer. That goes a little more feminine, a little more flirty, a little more girly. So there's so many ways you can integrate this. Um, the first picture I'm gonna put up is a very kind of like feminine take on it. The dress underneath is pink and then it has this sheer overlay that feels very kind of like whimsical, very ethereal. So that's a way to do this where it feels pretty instead of sexy. Like one at the end had it has this floral motif on it, but then you have the black undergarment. So again, if you did something where that was just a dress, you'd be more covered up. You could go to dinner. I've seen go to dinner this one too, but the black undergarments make it feel a little more edgy and a little more cool. So you can also do things instead of doing something over under the sheer, you can do something over the sheer. So what I have is a sheer top. She just throw, threw it on with like some jeans. It's super casual, but then putting on um, a kind of like bralette on top of it makes it a little more interesting and dresses it down a lot. So this doesn't have to be something that's super dressy um, and over the top. You can make this very every day. You can do as much or as little again as you want with it. But my favorite trend is flower power. I wore this just for you. Um, I love this trend. Obviously when you go into spring, florals are always trending, but this is very different. It's a play on florals, but in like a 3D version. Brands that are leading the way. Lueve has kind of set the tone with this trend. Did I put up the name, I can't remember the actual flower, but they put this big 3D flower on dresses, on shoes, as little details in their last runway show. Bottega also did a flower motif that was almost a part of 
the print of the dress but it was literally coming off the dress so that's what i mean by like 3d it's like little rosettes hanging from dresses for certain brands and then even like these little rosettes that are kind of like flower details this is a pin that came on another dress but i put it on here this is a part of this shirt um, but it's a it's a playful way you can, again you can go as big or as small as you want in the last few episodes of this series right we're working on decluttering prepping our closet finding our staples our, our silhouettes our go-to pieces and then this is a fun way to just inject a little bit of extra into the look so this one i'm putting up is kind of a montage and this is why i chose it there's so much variation in how you can do this uh, my eye immediately goes to this black one in the corner that's just more my style you know i love a little effortless sexy cool type of vibe this is in black lace which is always going to read a little more sexy and it's a lace applique on this jumpsuit and then a big similar to this flower rosette um, as the kind of like neck piece that stands out. I absolutely love this. And then the opposite end of the spectrum is kind of like this dress or this top on the other end. I'm pretty sure this is area. They've been doing these kind of like floral tops, which feels a little more glam that has crystals. I mean, and it's just literally a shirt, but the shirt is made of a flower. And you can pair that with like pants. They have it here with like a skirt. This feels more like summer vacation vibes. And then up top is the Loewe that I was talking about. So this jumpsuit is giving you, this is maximalist. So this is if you like to make a statement, you really want to stand out, you love those statement pieces, you love pops of color. This is a good example of typical florals that are in style. So an entire floral print jumpsuit and then the 3D rosette coming off of the shoulder as an added detail. Stunning. Again, not for everyone, but <laughs> I have lots of options in the description box and on my like to know it, we'll have like a few different collages for each trend. So if you wanna shop any of these, it'll be in the description below if you kinda of need help on where to find them. But the thing about trends is that they are accessible and you can find them in almost every store. So, all right, next up is cargo everything. Cargo pants have been in for the last few seasons, but now it's on everything. Um, Fendi kinda of led the way with their last show. They had cargo pockets on shirts. They also did it in different fabrics. So silks and more softer fabrics that feel less utilitarian and more just like interesting details on all types of garments. Um, other brands that are doing this, Diesel are doing it in denim, so making it a little more of a casual feel. And then Caperni and Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton doing it in different leathers and making it feel a little more elevated than your typical cargo. Uh, I love that there's more soft versions, again, more fluid versions. So it feels like something you can almost wear to work or wear for like a dinner and it doesn't feel too casual and relaxed. Here is kind of like a variation of the typical cargo, but then there's pockets on everything. So we got like this really cool skirt. I'm pretty sure this is, this is Monse. Absolutely love, they always do super unique things. So it's kind of doing the juxtaposition of like hard and soft, a very kind of like pretty skirt and then adding that casual element to it. Cool flight suit you see in the middle. So that has tons of pockets all over it. Feels like what we're used to, but then next to it is a very streamlined elevated piece, right? We have this off the shoulder top in this camel tone, which always reads a little more minimal but then pockets right on the front and this belted pocket situation I saw this at Zara recently as well in a denim version so again that flexibility to be able to just add it to any type of outfit you could use this belt and cinch in a blazer you could use it to throw over some like trousers and get that cargo feel which is very much trending but also be able to take it off and not feel like you're committing too much an example of um, the Louis Vuitton show. So again, they did it in leather, which gives it that cool factor, but just less construction worker safari vibes. <laughs> so I really like that. And then I feel like Fendi really set the tone as far as different fabrications and making it feel soft, spring appropriate, and just not too casual. This feels almost pretty with the silkiness of it and then putting the pockets in the front. Next up, my other favorite is gonna be Maxi Everything talked about this in the fall and it's just continuing it's it's i feel like it's such a new trend it's picking up steam and again you're going to see it everywhere brands that are leading the way alaya ysl marnie Mimu. so many variations um let's talk through a few of my favorites but you can do this in denim you can do this in like a silky fabric this can feel casual for like an everyday replacement of jeans or trousers available everywhere at every price point First one I really really love because I love a good juxtaposition is this first one here it's this pinstripe maxi skirt I think it's a great option this is something that's appropriate to wear to work if you typically are like um, a tailored trouser type of girl you love a good suit 
this is a good option that just feels a little more current but also still leans into like what you're used to if you love a tailored silhouette or something with pinstripes or some type of print um, i love this white one i'm pretty sure this is dion lee and it's a little more low slung but then still no nothing showing because the coverage of the shirt the tank top is just a little longer but this feels a little more 90s early 2000s and then ysl does it in a very elevated very chic way it's my absolute favorite way but it's also very dressy not everyday type of vibe but if you're someone who goes out a lot goes to events a lot um, and likes to really dress up and like do a little extra having a long column dress or gown they do like a kind of high neck long sleeve column silhouette it is stunning it really is eye-catching and then you can do it in all type of colors you can keep it black very sleek but then you could also do i'll pop up a few different um, options they've shown do a long coat with it it's such a statement but also so easy to wear that's what i love about it, it it's not any more work than throwing on a pair of pants or throwing on a pair of jeans but the impact it makes is so much better a great option to add to your closet if you haven't already keep your eyes peeled again for what makes sense for you if you have a very casual lifestyle this is something you probably want to get in denim or some type of fabric a cargo fabric i have a maxi skirt that's also in a cargo fabric with lots of pockets so now we're combining trends so many options to keep your eyes peeled for the last trend that is also a favorite is silver silver is back in a big way i feel like we've been going hard for gold like the last for a while like the last few years it's been gold everything and then it was like sparkle and crystal and rhinestone glitz and glam but silver silver jewelry accessories handbags shoes jackets pants silver everything um what i love about it it's a fun metallic to add into your closet when you don't want to do a color but it still adds interest but it's a little more effortless a little more casual than gold gold feels very sometimes gold can feel mature gold can be feel very like glam and like statementy and i feel like silver feels a little more like a casual version of a metallic brands that are leading the way loewe gucci paco rabanne so let's talk through a few of my favorites but this is something you can add to your closet with just like accessories we're seeing a lot of silver statement necklaces silver like bangles you can stack and layer a bunch of jewelry because again it feels a little more casual than gold so i feel like you can go a little heavier a little more grand this first one is from the gucci runway show and i feel like this is like a classic silver when you think of silver silver it's um Kind of like an evening gown but i feel like the silver does make it a little understated so you could do this with like a combat boot and dress it down obviously you could do it with a nice heel wear it to dinner and then here we have a few options that show you how kind of show you the variation you, do, you can get, get different tones in the silver obviously different textures on the actual color um and again it, it can feel super dressy but it can also feel very everyday i feel like this is such a wearable trend and you can do a little or you can do a lot go small with accessories you can do a statement bag and kind of like ease it into your casual lifestyle if you have one and then if you like more of the glitz and glam it's a no-brainer all right those are my five trends that i want to talk about i feel like these are super easy to integrate into any style aesthetic your wardrobe i hope this is helpful again we're working through finding our personal style Curating the closet of our dreams, making it easier for you to get dressed every day. And I wanted to go through these trends specifically because there's so much variation. You don't have to feel like you're, you know, wearing something that's not authentically you. You can get a little bit, you can get a lot, um, but it's a fun way to kind of jazz up your everyday pieces, your staple items. Once you find that core closet, those core closet staples that make you feel like you, these are the little things you can add in to just feel, you know, on trend to feel of the moment make your looks feel a little more unique so we have one video left in this series i have an idea of what i want it to be but i open to suggestions so if there's anything you think would be helpful to kind of like finish this series off for finding your personal style please comment below and let me know i will be in the comments we can chat about it um thanks for stopping by see ya